NR says a county official broke the law as he tried to manipulate the level of a local lake. News Channel 15's Megan Stemble joins us from Terry Lake in Hamilton with this story. Conservation officers say they don't know why Steuben County Surveyor Larry Gilbert was letting water out of Terry Lake. What they do say, though, is that what he was doing was illegal and could have lasting effects. The water at Terry Lake in Hamilton is on its way back up after all but disappearing over the summer. People had questioned why their boats were bottoming out on the lake floor, so the DNR checked it out. Um, on Thursday, officers brought 10 charges against Steuben County Surveyor Larry Gilbert, saying he'd done extensive work on the lake's outlet tile, causing the problem. Conservation Officer Rodney Clear. And permits have to be applied for the Division of Water before that happens, because whatever you do on your property affects other people's property, too. Let me show you the root of the problem. This tube right here, or tile, is what controls the level of the entire lake. Now, why so much water was allowed to pass through here so quickly, dropping the level of the lake, those details are about as murky as this water. The town of Hamilton, in my capacity as a town manager, had absolutely nothing to do with Terra Lake and what has transpired out there. Hamilton manager Milton Otero says he thinks Gilbert changed out this tube because it was clogged. Then when he put the new one back in, too much water drained out of the lake. Officer Clear says regardless of intent, permits are needed. Although the lake level seems to be returning back to normal, Clear wonders how the disruption will affect two endangered species of mussels and an endangered species of water snake that call the area home. A discoloration of nearby Fish Creek could indicate damage to the water there. This case is now in the hands of the DeKalb County Prosecutor's Office. It will decide which charges, if any, will be filed against Gilbert. We'll continue to follow the story. Reporting in Hamilton, I'm Megan Stemble, News Channel 15.